Hey, Matt Martin here. I want to talk a little bit about illegal immigration, specifically a couple things that happened this week. Um, you can catch me mornings from 6 to 8.30 a.m. on 95.1 FM, 7.90 a.m. KFYO, as well as you can follow me on Twitter at Matt Martin Radio, or you can always subscribe to this YouTube channel. Um, this week in illegal immigration, and I say illegal because, man, it's, it's just... Uh, a few very specific examples have come up that they don't make any sense. So first, we have a, a poor girl, and, and I do say poor, she was born with cerebral palsy. She's now 10 years old. Um, her parents moved over to the Laredo side of the border. They were in Nueva Laredo, and they moved to Laredo illegally when she was an infant. So they've been here for about 10 years. And she needed an emergency gallbladder surgery. So what she did, they did, was they sent their daughter to Corpus Christi. Now, apparently, there aren't really much in the way of checkpoints around where they live, but they would have had to gone through a checkpoint to go to uh, Corpus Christi. So that posed a big problem. They sent their legal uh, cousin to go with her instead of the parents going with her to get this this surgery. Now, she got caught at the, uh, at, at the checkpoint, and the Border Patrol followed her to the hospital, stayed at her door at the hospital, and when she was stable and got out, they actually put her in detention. Now, this is a 10-year-old girl with cerebral palsy, and I understand this is a major, major uh, heart problem. I mean, people are going to look at this from a very emotional standpoint because it is an emotional problem but um, this family was able to go across the border 10 years ago when this this girl was an infant and they moved to Laredo they were able to live in Laredo completely illegally and they were able to get Medicaid every single thing for this poor girl is paid for on the American taxpayers by the American taxpayers she's getting therapy on something like a weekly basis uh, to help her. Now, I'm not saying that she doesn't need this treatment, but this is a big, big problem. The American taxpayer should not be paying for this. So I'm looking at this this poor family, and I'm thinking, why, why is Mexico not paying for this? But even more importantly, how were they able to get Medicaid? So I've already been told for my opinions on this that I'm very cold, but I'm just going to flat out say that this right now needs to be taken care of so that this does not continue to happen. If we allow this family to stay in the United States and we continue to pay for this girl's medical care, then every single person that has a baby or a child that has problems uh, physically, mentally, or other disabilities, they're all going to move to the United States they're not going to care whether they're legal or illegal, and they're going to expect us to pay for that. So I think we, uh, I mean, th this family, first off, they've almost, according to the article, they haven't gone to see their child because she's in detention, and they're afraid to get deported if they go to see her. Well, why were they not in the ambulance with their daughter? Uh, that doesn't make sense to me, first off. If you're going to get caught, at least you're going to be a family. You're going to be together. But instead, they sent a cousin. So now there's this whole mess of they've got a minor, a 10-year-old girl that needs a lot of, of help. And they, she doesn't even have her family there with her. Once you're able to get this family back together, they need to be deported back over the border. And they need to have all Medicaid, all medical things taken away. And this is where I say we need to have E-Verify for Medicaid. We need to have E-Verify not only so that you can get a job in the United States, but you also need to have E-Verify for any type of welfare system. That includes health care, food stamps, anything at all. If you are not legal in this country, you should not be able to get those type of services. Now, I understand again that this is an emotional issue and you're thinking, Matt, you're crazy. You're going to kill these people. Well, I'm not going to kill these people. I, I want you to realize if we stop giving them that uh, extra boost, that all those uh, extra benefits, they're not going to come in the first place. Uh, it's the same thing. So we don't pay terrorists money if they kidnap an American. Why do we do that? 
Why don't we say, okay, we do not negotiate with terrorists? Well, it's simple. The terrorists won't want to pick up another American if they know they're not going to get money out of them. So they're going to look for tourists that they know they can get money out of. They're going to go for, you know, I think Spain and some of the other countries, European countries are, are just paying money left and right. If you're still one of our people, we'll give you your million, two million, four million dollars. It's the same thing here. <clears throat> if we stop all the benefits, we stop paying these people to come over they will stop coming over. And I'm still in favor of the wall, but I'm telling you, this is first what we need to do. The second thing that happened in the news this week is we gave an, an illegal immigrant girl, 16 years old, an abortion. And that was in the state of Texas. Um, I got that information off the Texas Tribune. You know, I'll have that article, both of those articles on below on the YouTube. But when you get, so we went through the process and it was actually blocked by judges. And then went to um, the, the full court. I think this was in the uh, D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals. And the full court decided to go ahead and stop the stay and go ahead and give her that abortion. Well, instantly, they were gone. They were getting her an abortion. They were killing her baby. Well, here's the thing. She's in detention in Texas. Uh, Texas did not, from what I've read, Texas didn't have to pay for that. But nonetheless, uh, what we're going to see is if in a country abortion isn't allowed, what are they going to do? They're going to come over here illegally. They're going to try to get, whether they're in detention or otherwise, uh, and they're going to try to get that. I mean, you're looking at a 16-year-old girl without any type of parental consent, any type of parental problems there. And so this is a flooding problem. We've got a flood of people coming over here, and we're trying, we're, we're our laws are making it easier for them not only to come over, but we're inviting them to come over because we're giving them everything they want or need. We need to deport these people immediately. We need to stop any type, any type of medical care that we have to pay for, and they need to be sent back to their country.